Tell me what you want to talk about. Well, before we get into some other things, um, Teresa Giudice, as I like to call her, had her housewarming love bubble party. You're shaking your head, Kim. Um, nice shoes, Teresa. O-M-G. I can't with these outfits. I, I just, I can't. I don't remember I, looking at the shoes. I, I just, I can't with the outfits. You just got to go look at the shoes. You can't. You know what? Anywhere, yeah, love bubble everywhere. Love bubble everywhere you looked. Um, you know, I don't predict it, but I do. You know, bubbles burst. And she's going to, if, if it happens, if that happens, which I'm going to make a prediction at the end of this, if that happens, you know what a fool she's going to look like acting like a 14-year-old. You know, I mean, this is ridiculous, but like, it's just insane. Now you're breaking up a little bit. You are breaking up. She is okay. She is giving him so much. No, you're still like totally breaking up. This, hold on. And like your picture, you can't really see either now. I can see you. You could. It's like all blurry. It's like a bad reception or something. I don't know why. You hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I'll stay right here. So anyway, the love bubble thing, bubbles burst, and you're a 50-year-old woman, and if that happens, you're going to look very foolish, okay? Um, by doing all of this and gushing over him, she's giving him a ton of power. You do not give men a ton of power, especially a man like that. And gush the way she does everything you, I mean, he's doing videos now we'll get into um, like a cult leader and she's giving him the platform. I find this to be very scary for all women that fall for things like this. What? Okay. First of all, let me say a few things about what you said. I did not see the shoes. I actually, you're going to, we're going to disagree. I didn't mind the pink cutout dress now i know you're probably thinking it's not appropriate if you're 50 years old we're also old so we're not age shaming but you're thinking the dress was fine the dress was fine i i I really liked it actually no it was an outdoor dress it was fine um cutouts are fine um but the shoes i i can't you went later on go check the shoes check your phone go check the shoes big chunky shoes with a slinky dress don't don't go I mean, listen, they gave her this, this show gave her the storyline. Now we have a love bubble party in the real world. Like Teresa is going to just, she should brand love bubble and she should make t-shirts and coffee mugs. And I mean, but her, this is her, this house is deemed the love bubble. It was the love bubble party. Um, everybody was there from filming, right? The whole cast. It was full cast. They, they, you know, when they tell, when the producers tell you, full cast you have to go like all my um my north jersey country club was full cast the brownstone one that i did that i oversold over 100 tickets at the brownstone they all of them walked in it full, full cast, cast. Sun, Sun Cubana, full cast and um they were told they have to go whether they wanted to or not so everybody was there. Um, you are breaking up. I don't know. I just don't know what to say today. I'm trying to keep it. Looks like I'm okay. Now you are. I don't know. You're, you're breaking up. Okay. So yes, yes. Um, what videos, I, what are you, t- I mean, listen, she is going to look like a fool if this crashes, of course, because it's so much love. I mean, there's nobody that is not going to have something to say. First of all, we are we are we are into the month and a half here, August sixth. Thanks to Ramona Singer, we know the date, we know where yeah. it is. Like we are in the countdown. Like her days are filled with wedding. This is all Teresa yes. does now. Like this is happening, Kim. This is happening, guys. Well, here's the thing: if you go on his Instagram, people sent this to me because. There, people just cannot believe what's happening. So he's doing these videos. The one video is um, at Laguna Beach and he's first looking out at the ocean and then he turns around towards the camera 
And he's saying, this is where I left my boyhood and I became a man and I became into my truth. You got to be into your truth. You got to be into repeating the same crap over and over and over. And, you know, basically saying that he had all these demons and he left them in the ocean. Then there's another one saying that men have to come into their truth, that it's not all about masculinity. So this is on his Instagram. This is clearly what he's promoting, almost like a cult leader. Um, And, you know, Forrest Gump is right there with him, giving him this platform. It is so bizarre. I'm sorry. People are going to fall for it, of course. But look what happened with that one cult where they all freaking commit suicide because they listen and they believe some people will fall for his crap. I'm not falling for it. He seems insane to me. He's starting to seem insane. It's look, it's the opposite of Joe Judice. Oh my God. It's the opposite. So I, I, I could see what attracts her, right? Like she, the sweet gentle man in touch besides, with his feelings. Yeah. Besides the private jet and the three point something million dollar home. And the fact that, you know, he, uh, I don't think he's good looking, but some people think he's a d- decent looking guy. You know what I mean? So I think she's caught up. I, th- I, I always said, I think she's in love with him. She's caught up in this whole thing. And now he's got her into therapy. And supposedly he's trying to get his ex-wife into therapy and she's not falling for it. She's not doing it. They've been Rumored. fighting. Well, I heard they're fighting over the fact that she doesn't, she will not go to therapy. Why does he care if his ex-wife is in therapy? Isn't this his because ex-wife? It's all a part of the... It's all a part of this big scheme of Luis being this Stengali, you know, leader. Making yeah. them like reforming these hot, yes. like hot button women that go off yes. the handle. And right. well, there is a picture of Teresa in her love bubble in her new backyard, like yes. praying to a Buddha. Now somebody, not you, Kim, not me, somebody responded. I don't know who this was, but somebody responded. <laughs> It won't help. That's kind of funny. I mean, whether you love Teresa or not, that is kind of funny, guys. It's really funny. And knowing her the way I do, no. No. You know, I give her um, E for effort, but um, mm -mm. no. I mean, he's his story is to make these women like, I need help and let me go to therapy. And it's just... But listen, maybe Teresa, if she is in therapy, which I do think we, of course, will see on the show, yes. this might really help if she listens and really right. get, goes there. Maybe she, this, she could learn, get something out of this, right? Listen, she might. She will probably will get something out of it. She will. Therapy's great. Um, although Teresa's gabados, which is hard-headed, hard-headed oh. in Italian. Um, but, you know, again... Uh, I'm getting this weird vibe from this guy 